Hello everyone, it's me, Nicole, your Electro Yogi Electrolysis Goddess. And I am doing a video today for you from my car. And the reason is I am between errands. Look at someone walking by. I am between errands, both personal and professional. And I very much wanted to make this video for you all today because something fascinating came up with my beloved husband and his hair today, or this weekend, I should say. So I wanna to talk to you about the life of a hair and why the phases of hair growth are important and why I have always, always, always recommended shaving your hair before an electrolysis treatment and giving us a few days of growth so that your hair is just peeking out of the surface of the skin. So here's my example. Oh, first I should back up and say, the phases of hair growth, the life cycle of a hair. A hair is born at the base of the hair follicle. Imagine a vessel, a cup, and at the bottom are capillaries and veins that are the blood source, the food source of hair growth and why we continue to grow hair in active follicles. We have follicles all over our body, five to six million of them on average, but our hair is born down there at the food source, that little base deep within the tissues. Now in reality, it's not that deep, but let's say it's deeper, as deep as our needle could go almost. The hair then is growing, 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 and pop, it comes out of the surface of the skin. That is the act we know when we just brand, brand new see a brand new hair, it is in its active phase of growth. Our hair is born, it lives in the active phase of growth, it ages and detaches from the blood supply, and then it dies, meaning it stops growing. And usually when our hair dies, is inactive, is dormant, that fourth phase of life, it is just sitting varying lengths depending on the body part it is sitting very shallowly under the surface of the skin and we can treat that hair however there is a whole mass of tissue and a blood source that we have been unable in our electrolysis treatment to get to because our needle only goes to where the hair stops us. So we need to get the hair for the most successful permanent destruction of the hair follicle, one and done, as I like to say. We need to get your hair when it's in that growing phase. It's born at the base. It moves up and comes out of the surface of the skin. We want your hairs to always be in that phase of growth to do the most successful work for you. So if you meet an electrolysis that tells you that you don't have to shave, it's not that that's not true because you can get the hairs out. Do you have a higher instance of regrowth? The answer is yes. And that's why I love shaving as a temporary method of hair growth because it doesn't make it worse like waxing, tweezing, threading, yanking your hairs out and stimulating that blood underneath the surface. Shaving is a perfectly neutral method of hair growth. So what happened this weekend with my beloved husband and why am I talking about this? Well, for the very first time in probably all seven years that I have known him, in homage to a wonderful, wonderful man who passed away at the ripe young age of a hundred and I think two. His name was Dave McCoy and he was the founder of Mammoth Mountain here in California, an incredible human being. Well, Dave McCoy always had a philosophy that people should come to work with a clean shaven face if you were a man. He really preferred a clean cut for all of his staff. So. In homage to Dave, Steve shaved his face, Steve, my husband, with a clean, with a perfect razor, perfect razor shave. And in all the years that I have known him, he's never done that. He only uses clippers, which is a wonderful way to prevent ingrowns. And it's another way too. When you use clippers, 
even when you're almost on like the no guard smallest setting, when you're using those clippers, there's still a little bit of texture, a little bit of hair that you can still feel there at the surface of the skin. Guess what happens when you're always clipping? Can you think about it? Do you know what happens with those, the, the life of all the hairs that are there? They're in every stage of life. They're not all growing. Some have aged, some have died. And the interesting thing about that is when you just clip your face, like Steve normally does, for the most part, it stays pretty soft. It stays pretty soft, even when it's growing out because you've got hairs again in many different phases, some still growing, some not growing, so that it's like dispersed, the feeling. And one of the reasons why people get so nervous about shaving is they're like, oh my God, it's stubbly, it's coarse, it feels stronger and thicker. That's because when you shave perfectly, your hairs are in the active growth phase and they're nourished by blood down at the base of the follicle. So they do feel thicker and coarser and look darker. So Steve perfectly shaved his face. It was so nice for kissing, but as it's been growing out, because now it's been a couple of weeks and it's grown out and he's kind of got like a scruffy look, it's so prickly. And it's the first time in seven years that I felt that with him. And I said, oh my gosh, babe, you are a perfect example. Your case is a perfect example of this, the life cycle of a hair and why when you're clipping, it's different than shaving perfectly flat against the skin. And why, when we're talking about trying to do permanent hair removal for you with electrolysis, that perfect shave is the most effective way for us to approach our treatments. Perfect shave with a couple days of growth. And otherwise, if we clip, we're just encountering your hairs in all the stages of their life. And that makes for a less effective treatment because we can't always get all the follicle tissue and cauterize the blood supply with the tip of the probe, which cuts off the blood source, cuts off the food supply, and then no hair can ever grow again. So that's my example of why shaving is important as the most effective way to prepare for permanent hair removal via electrolysis treatment. And I hope that's also a way to help you understand the life cycle of a hair. Thank you and have a wonderful day.